Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics and we have been talking about dummy variable. Now we have seen, uh, see, till now we have spoken about intercept dummy and previously we have spoken about the equations for male, female and you know like different categories of uh, you know uh, if we have dummy variables we can actually have uh, equations for different categories of dummy variable and these equations we have seen we can actually call them reduced form of equations. So essentially what is happening here is that in one equation if I have say male female I am sort of boxing them in in one equation. So in one equation I have a full population equation so uh, like full sample equation where I have both male and female I can actually unbox it I can have an equation for female I can have I can unbox it and I can have an equation for male. Now if I have another dummy for example sector so it could be rural and urban and I can have if I unbox it I can have an equation for the people who are in the rural area and I can also have equation for people who are in the urban area and with that if I further include let us say social group so I can have male female I can have rural urban I can have the equation for SC, ST, OBC and general right. So in one equation in one equation if you bring all these dummy variables together you can actually you know include all these different equations of course you are making some assumptions about the slope so in all the equations you are assuming the slopes are constant but then at that cost what you are getting is within one equation you can actually get so many different equations and because you are able to sort of capture all these different possibilities in one equation we often call by running a dummy variable regression we often call the the you know the very the equation we get we often call reduced form of equation okay now let us uh, try to sort of explain the reduced form of equation a uh, little further and uh, we, ha we have already have some notion about how it works. So let us just open a new data set to see uh, how we can really get the reduced form of equation. So let us say I want to open another data file that is on US population survey and I already have this data here and I will have import first row as variable name. So I get the data set here and I can see the data set here. So I have like this data set where wage, I have wage, I have a dummy variable called female, I have a dummy variable called non-white. So already the, the values of the dummy variables are assigned as 0 and 1. So we do not have to do anything here. <coughs> and if someone is white, someone is non-white is going to be 1, someone is white is going to be 0. And someone is a union member is going to be 1, someone is not an union member is going to be 0. Then we have a quantitative variable education, experience and age let us say and there are some other variables we do not need to bother really. So let us uh, first run a regression equation with all these different variables okay and I already have written the regression equation here. Oh, sorry. So here there is the regression equation I have, I have to regress wage and our independent variables are female, non-white, union, education and experience. I can keep the quantitative variables first let us say. And if I run this regression equation, I have already imported the data so I can run the regression equation and if I run it, so I get this table okay, this regression table. So I have all these different variables here alright. Now how do I really interpret, so how do I really now unbox the you know multi unbox multiple equations from this one reduced form of equation. So let us say if I want to get say you know wage for uh, let us say let me actually give you the cases. Let us say I have I want to get the wage for wage for white male who white male who are not in the union non-union okay so I will just create different cases white male non-union mm. or I want to get let us say white female white female non-union 
all right then i may want to get the case for let's say non white male non union non union or i may want to get a case where i want white male union so all these possible cases i want to sort of understand using this um this one equation okay and how do i do that i will do that let's say i will get the equation here so what is my equation going to be the reduced form equation is going to be so i am going to write it down let's say 1.37 into education let me write it down y is equal to 1.37 into edu and then you have point 1. Point, point 1.166 experience point 1.166 experience and then you have female is minus 3.07 plus of a uh, sorry point uh, yeah it's so minus 3.07 minus 3.07 Zero seven into female. All right, and then I have non-white minus of one point five six non-white minus of one point five six non-white, and then I have one point zero nine union plus of one point zero nine union. and there is a constant term minus of 7.2 let's say minus of 7.2 now let's go back to our first case okay our first case was that i want the wage for white male non union okay so we'll use a different color it's too boring to have one color so the for case 1 white male non union white male so if it is a white so my non white is equal to 0 so this is going to be 0 if it is a male the female is going to be 0 so this is going to be 0 and non union if non union union is going to be zero so that is again going to be zero so white male non union white male non union is going to be so y for white male non union is going to be only this 1.37 edu minus 0.166 experience this is equal to zero the female is equal to 0 non white is equal to 0 union is equal to 0 so all these terms are going to be 0 minus 7.2 okay in if i want to get go for the second case where i have only change is from the from the first equation to second equation i have from male to female so all i have to do is that when it is female so my union is going to be 0 and my non white is going to be 0 only value i'll have for female so i'll have to put 1 for female so the y let's say y white female female non union non union is going to be 1.37 edu minus 0.166 experience now for female now i have a value equal to 1 so that means i have to add minus of 3.07 here minus of 37 3.07 and minus of 7.2 all right so that is how i get my second equation now if i want to get my third equation my third equation i wanted to have non white male non union so y let's say y non white male non union non union so it is going to be sorry non union so it is going to be in the previous equation i have 1.37 edu then experience uh because it is male so female is going to be zero and because is non white now i have 
the dummy for non-void that is going to be 1. So I'll have value for this. So it is going to be minus of 1.56 and non-union. So union is going to be 0. So I don't need to bother about uh, I don't need to bother about this particular variable. So it is going to be 1.37 edu and then plus 0.166 experience then is female is male so female is going to be 0 so and the next term is non white that is going to be 1 minus of 1.56 and then I will have my union term because it is non union so it is 0 and then I have the constant term is equal to minus of 7.2. So that is going to be the reduced form equation. What was the last case we had? We had white male union. We had white male union. So let us write down what we want is y white male union and that is going to be so my white so non white is going to be 0 male it the female is going to be 0 union so it is going to be 1 okay so then what i'll have is 1.37 edu plus of 0.166 experience and the only thing that will remain is the union because it's fem it is uh, it is we have included white male so if it is a white so non white is going to be 0 and female is going to be 0 only union term will be there so which is 1.09 so if i add it is going to be 1.09 and the constant term is 7.2 now let's say if i wanted to get let's say you know another case y let's say non white non white male union let us say this is you know we change two we have you know like uh, value is equal to one for two different dummies. So here what I will have is so I will have the value for non white and I will have value for the union right but I will not have any value for female so it is going to be so 1.1.37 edu plus point plus point 0.166 experience and then I will have because it is male so no value for female and it is non-white because it is non-white so non-white is going to be 1 so then I am going to have so it is not a plus it is going to be it is going to be minus 1.56 because it is a non-white and then I have a union right so this, this is going to be again 1 so 1 1.09 this is going to be 1.09 and then of course I have the constant term okay. So this is how for different cases for different cases you see that there are so many different possible regression equ equations we can actually derive from just one equation where we have used all these different types of dummy variables. So this is the idea. This is why we call this uh, regression equation using all these dummy variables. We call it reduced form equation. And from this equation, we can unpack and unbox so many other equations. So that is the idea of it. Now, having said that, it is really convenient because you know, like we really can sort of get so many different equations from one equation. But then the the, the cost is that we have the slopes constant. Now, can we really have the slope constant? We cannot and we have seen it previously that uh, if you run uh, regression for different subpopulations, you are actually going to get different regression equations. So different with, you know, with uh, the slopes for other explanatory variables being different. So we need to sort of understand why it is happening and in the next lecture, we are going to talk about the slope dummy. We have been talking about intercept dummy, but in the next lecture, we are going to talk about slope dummies and with this, we end the lecture here. Thank you.